Imagine a ball being thrown one metre from some starting point to some destination. First it covers half the distance, then half of what's left, half of what's left again, and so on. It gets closer and closer, but never actually seems to touch the destination. However, we know it must do so. This is an example of an infinite geometric series. One half plus one fourth and so on must equal one. Perhaps you try to find other examples of these series, maybe 2 plus 4 plus 8 and so on. The problem of this series is that each item is bigger than the previous one. It never shrinks towards some result, it approaches infinity, hence we call this a divergent series. On the other hand, what about our original series, 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth and so on? In this series, each term is smaller than the previous one, and it's clear that these terms approach an actual result, 1 in this case. Because of this, it's reasonable to say that the result of this infinite series is equal to a finite number, 1. Hence we call this a convergent series. The requirement for one of these series to be convergent then is that each term is smaller than the previous one. Hence the number we're repeatedly multiplying must be a fraction, a number between 1 and negative 1. Let's try another series, 1 fifth plus 1 fifth squared and so on. We can start with a square with area 1 and take out a chunk of size 1 fifth. In effect, we're trying to rebuild our original series, so this chunk will add to some keep pile. Similarly, we'll take another chunk of size 1 fifth that we can use to keep working on our square. The other 3 fifths of the square will add to the discard pile. Now, let's zoom in on the working square. Let's rearrange 1 fifth as 5 times 1 fifth squared. The next piece of our sequence was a chunk of 1 fifth squared, so let's take that and another chunk of size 1 fifth squared as our next working square we can discard the rest of our square. We can repeat this action forever, on smaller and smaller squares. If we did this infinitely many times, our working square would disappear, leaving us just with the keep and discard piles. Notice that our discard pile is simply 3 times our keep pile. Also, due to the fact that our working square disappears when you repeat this infinitely, our keep and discard piles must add up to 1. If you rearrange this, we discover that 1 fifth plus 1 fifth squared and so on equals 1 quarter. Maybe you wonder if there's a general formula for this fact, which you can use to find solutions to all of these convergent series. For this, we need to start with a square of size 1, and, as before, split it into pieces. Our series started p, so our new keep square is of size p, as is our new working square. Therefore, the area we must discard is equal to the size of our original square, minus 2p. As before, we can zoom in on our new working square of size p. Our keep and working squares are now of size p squared, so the area of our second discard square is p minus 2p squared, which we can write as p times 1 minus 2p. Again, we can repeat this on smaller and smaller squares, meaning the working square will eventually disappear. Our discard sequence is nearly equal to some multiple of our keep sequence. It's just shifted down by p. So instead of starting at p, it starts at 1. We can fix this by multiplying both sides by p, substituting in our keep pile, and dividing back through by p. As before, these two sequences together equal 1, and after some time rearranging, we can find a result that solves the problem and gives us a general formula for a geometric series.